DGENs! Welcome to Degenerate Take Special Live Golf Update. I am the Brofict One AJ, and joining me as always is the man with the numbers, the sportsbook whisperer, college basketball guru, daddy of the diamond, all hail the king of the links, Mr. Noah Engelbretson, the money train. Noah, how the hell are you doing today, Bob? AJ, I'm pretty good. Played a little uh, afternoon nine after work today, and... Um, you know, didn't, didn't go the best, but there's no bad days out on the golf course, you know. Oh, oh never, never a bad, bad day out on the golf course, course. Especially, especially for these live golfers, golfers bro. bro. I mean, you know, the, you know, the thing, thing that's been talked about a lot is the prize money that they can win uh, in the tournament, in each play and everything. And, and it's, it's coming, coming out now that, that they're not really making that money now. <laughs> um Coming out because of the hearings for the temporary restraining orders. We'll get that in a minute. But coming out during those hearings, Brentley Romine uh, reporting, the biggest revelation, revelation so far is that, according to Liv's lawyer, prize money won in Liv events comes out of players signing bonuses slash contracts. So, Noah... I cannot, I cannot figure, figure that, that one out. out. I, I mean, mean, so, so that, that just means that every, every time, time they win, it's like, you know, a bank, and, and they, they just kind of take away from their, their bank, bank or something? something? Like, like they have a, a, like like a direct, direct deposit? deposit or? or? Yeah, essentially the best way I can describe it is, and this just came out like today or yesterday or whatever. You know, you, you kind of wondered with these massive contracts, like is there a catch to that or are they just paying these guys ridiculous? Um yeah, there's a bit of a catch there. Um, say a guy like like Dustin Johnson, for example, getting I think it was 150 million was yeah, his yeah. number sign on bonus. So he got that 150 million. All the other guys, for whatever number they signed on for, they got they got paid that up front. But it's essentially like an upfront payment for everything else. Um, every time they they win or their winnings every week get taken out of that bank. So, so say Dustin Johnson wins and it's four and a half million is, you know, the prize for first place for that given event. So now his 150 is down to, you know, 135, 135 and a half or one, 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 one point three. Yeah, yeah, whatever. whatever. One, 135 and a half. And none of these golfers can make another cent until they oh. get that number in winnings for what they signed on for. <laughs> and... And the other side of that is if they decide to leave the live tour, they have to pay back the difference in the amount of winnings they've made from their sign on bonus. So wait, 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 wait. So, so like, like if, if, you know, um, some, some of these guys, guys are on two year deals, deals, some of these guys are on five year deals, depending on their, on their level. level. These, these guys, guys on two, two year deals, deals though, though, let's say. Well they're not they're not on yearly deals. That's the thing. They're on a they're they're on a sign on bonus deal plus winnings, but they can't start accruing winnings until oh. the amount of winnings that they have hits that amount that their sign on bonus is. So, like, it, it's kind of almost like these golfers are stuck in a long term contract. Yeah. Now, so you better if you're signing on to live, you better not spend that money that you got at your sign on bonus. It, it's. The best way I can describe it is it's like taking a five or a 10 year contract, but you're taking it as a lump sum at the wow. beginning. And so you're responsible for paying back the difference if you decide to leave ever. So wow. uh, for some of these guys, I mean, most of them are probably fine, but there are a couple, um, uh, you know, Henrik Stenson being the, the main one who comes to mind, who's had some financial troubles in his life this could be a, a bad thing for him. Like, yeah. I, I know it's more money, but, you know, he might be stuck playing the live tour until he's, you know, 55 because he's got a, you know, he doesn't have the money to be able to pay it back. And it, that's the thing, like, or like Phil and his, you know, Phil Mickelson, he's been noted to have some gambling issues, stuff like that. Because um, if you take this contract and you've got that money, right? If you want to leave, if you want to retire, but you don't have the money to pay back that difference, you're screwed. You got to keep playing. So yeah, yeah no, no, and I mean, I mean that's, that's something, something that, that yeah, like, like you said, no, you got to think about. And Cam Smith, Smith, you know, you know I, I talked about, about it. It, it is very, very heavily rumored, rumored that he is going, going to the live tour after this season. season. He sets it up very nicely. 
refused to comment um, ahead of the FedEx St. Jude's this week. Well, he, he sent it up about it and refused to answer any questions about live. Well, it, well, it makes, makes sense. The, the Tour Championship, championship is, is August 25th through the 28th, and the, and the next, next live event isn't until September 2nd. So he could double dip very easily. And if he wins the whole thing, bro, that, that would be unbelievable. unbelievable. That'd be earth shattering. But, but you know, that's, that's a bridge we'll get to. Get to. Um, another, another piece, piece of news coming out of Live Golf today, today. Uh, the, uh, the federal, federal judge did rule that no antitrust laws were broken in not allowing Live Golfers to play in the FedEx Cup. I mean, you know, you know, it, it was, was one, one of those things where it was kind of thrown in there with the overall antitrust lawsuit that's, that's going on with live golfers and the PGA. It was just kind of thrown in there. I don't blame them. Maybe it was to test the waters and see what they could do per se. But I mean, I'm not surprised. I think, and I'm, you know, I've looked at the field. We're going to do a betting video on that in a little bit, degenerate bets on that. But I've been looking at the field and I'm excited for this playoffs coming up. And I mean, those three golfers, yeah, it might have been nice to have them in there, but not really guys that we're going to miss. Yeah, I, I mean, the who are who are the three? Probably. Oh, I got it somewhere. No, no Dustin, Dustin Johnson. Johnson um, um, yeah, DJ. I, and, and then it was, it was like two other, other guys. Honest to God, I haven't heard of. of. Oh, probably probably Gooch. Nope. nope. Oh, it, might it might not even have been DJ. DJ. Anyway, I, I covered, covered that, that in a video oh, okay. earlier today. today. You can go, go back, back and watch, watch that. I should, I should have that floating around my head somewhere. somewhere. But, but no, I mean, in general, I mean, three, three golfers for missing, missing from a tournament, tournament that should have been, been there. there. I mean, it's, it's not, not like, like the guys that made it in aren't as qualified, if not more qualified, to, you know, play in this event. You know, it's not like you're bringing it, calling up some minor leaguers to come play in the World Series. Right, and well, I also feel like it's the type of situation too where it's like you made your bed, now now you yeah. sleep in it. Don't make your bed and then bitch about <laughs> wanting to sleep in somebody else's bed. Yeah, yeah no, no, absolutely. absolutely. Or, or if you want another analogy, it's like you know the whole like you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's oh, especially with the amount of these golfers who are refusing to admit that it was the money that drove them to to the live tour and saying oh I just wanted to play less golf, and, and now they're trying to sue to play more golf. Uh, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense but yeah i, I i'm not surprised at the ruling not, I, I, don't I, know. I, I thought it was weird too the thing they were going after the pga tour with was antitrust which kind of makes no sense in a professional sports situation no me, but and it's, and it's hard, hard to go, go after, after a non-profit for, for an antitrust, antitrust. I don't think anybody's going to be really missing the small handful of, of live golfers who aren't playing in this. Uh, DJ might be the only name that anybody really cares that much about. Absolutely, Absolutely. and he, he might, might be missed, missed but not, not long. <laughs> excuse me, uh, not, not missed, missed for, for too long, long once they, they finally tee off this Thursday, Thursday to get everything started. started. But, but no, no with, with that, that being, being said, said, you have anything, anything else to say regarding, regarding live golf, golf or any of the news that came out today? I mean... Honestly, if I'm a golfer going to live, I kind of uh, now that now that all this is broken, obviously they've all known because they've signed yeah. contracts, and I, I would hope that you know these as professional athletes they have good lawyers and agents and everything. Oh but, yeah. Uh, I'd almost rather have a really small sign-on bonus for live, and then just try to compete and win a bunch of events because then you're pocketing the money every week versus. Like I, you know, I just think about Tiger. If he took that seven hundred, eight hundred million there, it would have taken him a decade yeah. to even start to start seeing a penny off of winnings from the events. And like, yeah, that's you know three quarters of a billion dollars just in one fucking check. But, yeah. But then you're not making a penny, and you have to keep playing golf. Otherwise, you're liable to pay a. Per like a percentage or a portion of that back so oh yeah and tiger at this point, point in career just wants to play in the majors, majors play in a couple pro ams and, and play, play with his son and call it good, good. Can't, can't really, really blame the guy, guy. Um, um but, but yeah, yeah it's a lot that the live golfers got to think about and, and you know no i gotta, I gotta say, say i think, I think we're, we're the, the channel, channel with the best live golf news like on the youtube and on the internet right now because i don't really see a lot of people talking about it so that's why the dgens out there should of course like share and subscribe to the channel down below uh you can follow us on the twitter to the show at DGen takes myself at brofect one noah at an n underscore engelbretson and engel money train for all of your best 
bets and locks. Noah is the man we call him the money train. He has a laundry list of nicknames for a reason. And hey, we also got merch. If you like this dope hat like I do, go check out the description down below. It's going to be in there. I promise you. And with that being said, I've been the perfect one. That's been the money train, Noah. And we'll see you next time on Degenerate Takes. It's not doing the thing. Oh, it did the thing.